All right, man, Terrence Crawford uh, responds to criticism of Dan Rayfield treat that he was getting from a lot of fans, right? So a lot of people is, you know, you know who holding Terrence Crawford responsible for holding up the Errol Spence fight, even though we all know, you know, people who know behind the scenes that it ain't Terrence Crawford, all right? Even though Terrence Crawford was told to, he had to leave Bob Arum, cut Bob Arum out of making a deal. You know what? He... He cut Bob Barham out of making that deal, okay? Um, and he came to negotiate, right? You know, Sean Porter, you know, he fought Sean Porter, et cetera. Stopped Sean Porter. Errol Spence ran out the arena. Nobody had nothing to say about that. Um, you know, got out the arena and, uh, you know, went to go, you know, start negotiating the fight. Tim, uh, Tim Smith, whatever his name is, said that uh, – they didn't have the money. They didn't want to disrespect Terrence Crawford. Everybody started noticing what he said had validity when it came to some of the PBC guarantees look being very, very small, right? And you got a lot of people out here who got an issue with Terrence Crawford, you know, over and over situations. You see a lot of the dudes from Philly don't like Terrence Crawford. I had to ask, like, what happened? And I forgot he had got into it with Ray Robinson, right? And they said, well, it's only really one gym. Um in amateurs, you know, Terrence Crawford thought he got robbed by Ray Robinson. And Terrence Crawford people tried to jump on Ray Robinson after the victory, which that was wrong, right? And uh, you know, Philly stick together. A lot of a lot of solid guys in Philly. All right. I mean, come on, a lot of stand up guys in Philly. I know people went to Philly, put work in. You no. Know? Um, so at the end of the day, you know, they gonna pretty much stick together for the most part. So I didn't really understand that but now nah, i get it all right cool it is what it is um so you know a lot of people just speculating saying oh it's terrence Crawford, but al Heyman don't hold any responsibility because he don't speak right al Heyman don't want to make this fight everybody any everybody who worked behind the scenes no matter the company everybody know the truth if it's top rank saying one thing if it's the wbc saying one thing um if it's uh premier boss champion saying it itself Right. Um, a lot of my sources on this in the beginning came from PBC when um, all the shit started where uh, Terrence Crawford had a. Uh, um, where Floyd Mayweather came on and said they wasn't doing the fight right now. And that's kind of what kind of made kind of broke up the YouTube boss community. Right. And when, you know, uh, Floyd Mayweather came on and said, well, we not doing we not doing the fight right now. Then Earl Spence came on that show and said that the same thing. I'm gonna take the easy route. You can say, well, you know, Terrence Crawford said, well, I don't need to fight this, that, and third. Fine. You need, it need. You gotta think of a need is not a want. You know what I'm saying? A need is like I need the water to survive. I need food to survive. He don't. He don't need Terrence Crawford, Earl Smith to get in the Hall of Fame. And a lot of people might believe Earl Spence is a Hall of Famer. He don't need Terrence Crawford right now, or he on he on the cuffs of doing so. But he did say he wanted that fight for pretty much his sanity. But he goes on to say MF was just talking, uh, just be talking to be talking and have no idea what they talking about. Just want to feel important, even though that's the wrong, you know, word for feel. But I ain't no spell check. All right. And most people don't know what they talking about in this situation. Right. And he could blame Dane Rayfield for putting out those reports. Like Copper John Rayfield keeps saying it's closed, it's closed, and it's not being in the numbers. And they just doing their job. They getting fed a source, you know, no matter how heavy, how light the source is. And I'm gonna say the source is, you know, real close to this situation. But people trying to say, well, it's Terrence Crawford, it's Terrence Crawford, it's Terrence Crawford. They don't want to make this fight. I told y'all that many years ago. In a video named Terrence Crawford is the real boogeyman on my channel. They don't want to make this fight. They don't. Usyk and Fury is light years ahead of this fight being made for February 2023. You know, Al Hamill won all the control, but he don't have the resources. All right. And then he don't want to make the fight. And I keep telling you all that. Nobody want to believe me. He don't want to make this fight. He don't. And he really want to make the Keith Thurman fight. And that came out of Earl Spence's mouth. You know, behind the scenes. They know it. They came out of Earl Spence's mouth. They did, they, you know, I want him to fight uh, Keith Thurman. But he don't want to. 
And that's why I keep saying that uh, I'm not fighting Keith Thurman. That ain't happening. This, that, and the third. You know, people, you know, dig all this dirt as hell. Crawford this, Crawford that. Well, Crawford ain't run out the uh, fight when he fought Danny Garcia. He tried to go into the ring and they wouldn't let him. Fans blocked him. As soon as he'd have cracked the fan and Steven Nelson would have cracked the fan in their jaw, then they would have been getting sued. Right? You know, and that's the honest truth. He wanted to go in the ring. Then Earl Spence get out the ring and start talking about how he wanted to ride horses and shit. Come on, y'all got to get that biasness and that hate out y'all chest because he won't talk to y'all. Who cares? It is what it is. You know, he he is a, a he, you know, he's a fighter. He didn't want out the ring. When explain why Earl Spence ran out the arena, Ellie Sedbeck had to hawk him down. When he knocked out Sean Porter, explain that. You know, explain, you know, um, Derek James saying he got to get his numbers up and this, that, and the third. Hey, Ugas didn't have to have his numbers up. Sean didn't have to have his numbers up. They was giving away tickets for Sean Porter or Dennis Ugas. Danny Garcia numbers ain't really up. That pay-per-view flopped too. And y'all can say, oh, it was the pandemic. It was the pandemic. It was the pandemic. It was the pandemic. Whatever y'all want to make the case for. No, PBC simply don't want to make this fight. And I shouldn't have to hand my career over to Al Heyman and take and lose all control and put it on autopilot for Al Heyman. And I don't know what I'm gonna be fighting. These dudes don't even know what they be when they be fighting. They don't demand no money. All they do is show up, put the gloves on, weigh in, put the gloves on, or pick the gloves, go into the ring, put the gloves on. They say Al Heyman has complete control. It's pretty much like a prison. Don't know your next fight gonna be. He might give you a couple options. You wanna fight bling, bling, bling. All right, see if I can make this happen. You know, this is where you fighting at. This is what you're gonna do. You can make suggestions. You know, you can make suggestions. But them dudes don't know never know who they be fighting until six to eight weeks before a fight. For the most part. They don't know what's playing. They don't. They don't need no Keith Thurman out here demanding ten million dollars. That's Al Heyman stopping Keith Thurman from fighting the Earl Terrence Crawford. Stopping Keith Thurman from fighting Connor Ben. Come on, that's that's Al Heyman. And people say, "Oh, you know, uh, Al, 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 Al is running on fumes right now." And can't nobody defend his product has been inferior. And across boxing, has been inferior. But he the leader of the pack. He the leader of the new school. He's the leader of the new school. And his ever since his he been like he been running Pride Rock like Scar to go over Pride Rock. His boxing has been in the shithole, and people continue to defend this dude. How do you defend a dude who can't make the biggest fight of the year, but can make sure Canelo get that type of money quick? How do you defend that? I could defend somebody that made you wait years for Sean Porter, Earl Spence, Danny Garcia, Earl Spence. Never made a Keith Thurman, Earl Spence. His plan was to make the fight now. After Keith Thurman and, you know, lost his prime and had thousands of injuries. Come on, how y'all defend a man that made Anthony Joshua a world title and then turn around and couldn't even, you know, get Deontay Wilder that fight? Who put the power in Anthony Joshua's hands in the heavyweight division but then turn around and claim Y'all pro Wilder. You can't be pro Wilder and pro, uh, pro uh, Al Heyman in that situation. Why would I get my get it get it get that power to that dude? Why would I let him control my career? The only positive is you know, Terrence Crawford can whip his ass and move away. Can can retire. And people say, "Well, you should just do take the money." This doesn't th man. It's almost forty years old. Why I didn't put enough work in to be respected. You know, I done did things he ain't he ain't done. We wasn't my name is C Bird. I done did things that you ain't never heard of. <laughs> you know, why I you know why would I take lesser you know to a dude who numbers look just like mine, who's a regional fighter, who's never headlined in Vegas. I understand where he coming from, but then again, he got three belts. It is what it is. You know. Cause at the end of the day, if I get in there and never fight again, none of these jokers gonna gonna pay my bills. And he right, a lot of these dudes sitting here and don't know nothing. 
You know, these niggas ain't talking to the LDBC, bro, because they nut huggers. They nut munchers. They ignorant. Like, Deontay Wilder is it, and he probably don't tell them everything. Trust me. These dudes ain't really talking to them. They just they just natural dick munchers. And we support who support us and all this type of shit. This ain't what this about. When did when did when did the the the, the vlogger or the media member be more important than the sport, more important than the fighter? Nigga, that's like the, the daddy train, the dumb daddy trainers, you know, being more important than the fighters. That's worse than that. We just pose it. We pose it to make sure this shit stay on track. This stay on code. And y'all can't even do that. There's a whole bunch of exceptions, you know, and a whole bunch of hypocrisy. You know, if Deontay Water deserved 50 50 versus Anthony Joshua years ago, why don't Terrence Crawford versus Earl Spence? Because y'all don't buy Deontay Water shit to this day. Y'all don't buy it. Because all the fucking, you know, y'all y'all screaming, we got the router. And when the pay-per-view numbers come in for Atlantis, they're going to look bald like like the hoes' tires. Hey, babe, I didn't know how to buy and get a new tire. Babe, you ain't got no meat on them jokers. So, that is what it is, man. Uh, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase the chance of notifications. We go live with our video for the NC1 support the channel. Cash up, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link description. Um, for the NC1 support the channel, cash up, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link description. Check out the Boxing news and what's away playlist for more videos like this. Hit my link tree, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, the whole nine. Uh, other than that, man, y'all need to be in the CSPs.